Hey fellow Vault Wearers, it's Angry Turtle and today from our Weapon Guide series we have a guide for currently the most powerful weapon in Fallout 76. With this weapon it's possible to kill Colossus in 18 seconds. Then that means something that's better than Legacy or any other weapons. It's great. It can be only obtained through legendary crafting if you really want a powerful variant. And Mitzi was crafting this beauty, then I will link both videos actually. Mitzi video when she was crafting it and when she was using it on some super mutants and famous video when he max out his damage with not exactly the same weapon, I mean different legendary roles, uh, but uh, generally the same weapon, different roles, and he was able to kill Colossus solo in 18 seconds then. That means something about this gun. Uh, what is so special about it? It is Enclave Plasma Gun that previously was only possible to get a non-legendary version, but now, thanks to legendary crafting, it can be legendary. But let's start from the basic. Where to find a weapon like this one? And just a very important info when we are talking about Enclave Plasma, it's a totally different gun than just a plasma gun. It looks different and damage is different. On top of that, reg regular plasma rifle is much easier to get and modify. And you can see in here that even without any special perks, as I'm not spec to use this gun, it's not the point on, on this video, but you can see the Enclave variant have significantly higher damage. And this difference is to the base damage, therefore it adds up. Quite a bit, actually. Okay, now where to get it? You can get it inside the Enclave base in production section from the Modus Production Terminal. And you will usually find two weapons in here. They will be slightly randomized. Although I never found with actually a good mods that you would like to get on this gun. But you can find something and already modified. Uh, depend on the stock, it will be either pistol or rifle. Now, as you want a good one with good mods, as you cannot learn the plans to craft mods for this gun with exception of prime capacitor, what you want to do is to do drop connection, either if it will be Watoga or it will be in Harbor Ferry. Whenever you saw a drop connection event, you want to do it because it have both a chance to drop a box mod for this gun and a chance to drop already modified Enclave Plasma Rifle, then you want to do those events. The chance is low, but it is there. Other option to get mods for Enclave Plasma is Watoga Station and Watoga Shopping Plaza as well. Very low chance that those vendor bots will have a box mod for you. And there is a limited selection of possible mods that you can get from the vendors and from the events. You can check Wikipedia for details, but you can get the good ones that you need, what means a flamer mod. Generally, the most important part is to get a flamer barrel. It doesn't matter if this will be a line or different one, but you want a flamer barrel. That's what the most important to get maximum DPS out of this gun. There are different options as well. It can appear as automatic weapon or single shot or sniper. They all cool and you can use them if you want, but not nearly as powerful as this one. About the stock, you just want it to be stock in order to use it as a rifle or you want a grip if you want to use it as a pistol. Sights. That's a tricky part because if you want a specific sight on your weapon, you need to find a plasma weapon with sight already installed as sights are not available in form of box mods. Prime Capacitor is the only one that you can actually learn and then install. If you want to swap to anything else, then you need to find a box mod. If you don't want to use Ultra Sight Ammo, that's quite expensive, but you can farm in Daily Ops, then alternative for Prime Capacitor will be any capacitor with VATS crit damage, if you will of course use it in VATS. About the ammo for this weapon, 
as a standard is using plasma cartridges under energy ammo. And as you can see, crafting is quite expensive. The base value will get is 30. Of course, you can boost it with all your perks to get more per craft. And if case of ultra sight ammo, you will get 120 plasma cartridges, but it will cost you more resources and one stable cobalt flux. But as I said, the best way to get these ultra sight plasma cartridges, daily ops. Additional benefit of using a flamer barrel is 300 ammo capacity as default value. What's amazing. And as I will link in pin comment uh, how this weapon work a uh, version with Mitzi build and with Femos build, then now I'm using it on my heavy gunner to show you how good it is when you actually don't have anything that you should have to spec into this weapon. And it is surprisingly effective. Like I think this server is a little bit laggy, but you can see that it's incredibly effective. Even if you are not spec into it, like totally not spec, running with a heavy gunner build with this weapon. And about the legendary effects, if you go for a flamer barrel, then basically all good effects for weapons are good for this one, with exception uh, to quad. As basically, if you already have 300, quad only works on default value, then quad will give you like 60 extra rounds in the magazine, then from 300 to 360, that's not really worth it. Then yes, I would not recommend quad. Everything else that's good for weapons, it's good for this one. You can use aristocrats, anti-armor, bloodied, junkies, whatever really you want. You can use vampire like this one I'm using as a vampire. And yeah, server is laggy, not responding. About the range of this weapon with a flamer barrel, um, the pip boy stats, you can see that range is 48 and it's about accurate, which means it's about a shotgun range. I will demonstrate you on one of the super mutants. You can see I'm still hitting him now. Now still hitting him. Now I don't. I'm, the, I'm not hitting him anymore. I step two steps closer then. You can see this is at actually a decent range, taking into consideration it is a flamer type weapon. And flamer type and flamer weapons have this additional advantage that they can hit multiple targets at once. Then that's a plus. You can kill two, three enemies if they align in the line at once. And that is, I think, everything you need to know actually about this weapon. I really recommend it, as I said, the strongest weapon in Fallout 76 at this moment. I don't know if anything will change in the future. Currently, this is absolutely the most powerful weapon you can get. If you have any question about it, please check the comment section or check out the Wikipedia, follow the wiki, follow.fandom.com. If you need some more info, there is some useful info about what kind of mods you can actually get, as not every single mod that's available on regular plasma rifle is available on Enclave Plasma. If you need to see the maximum potential of this gun, check the links in the pinned comment. And now, as always, thank you a lot for watching and see you guys in the next one.